Now, remember a few weeks ago, back in April, I put a picture on my socials of these, my pickled eggs. It was a bit of a test recipe, see if they worked. And I did say if they were a success, I'd make a video. So what we're doing today, and boy, were they a success. They were so, so delicious. In fact, that's, you know, the only reason I've got one left is so I can show you what they look like inside. Because obviously the other batches we're gonna make are not gonna be ready. It took a lot of willpower just not to smash that. So, you know, I'm good to you, I am. And they're super easy to make. There's really not much to it. It does require a bit of prep, so keep watching and I'll show you what we need to do. And, but also nice and cheap as well. You know, eggs are pretty, pretty cheap still. And better still, if you kind of go to the shops and they've got some reduced eggs because they're coming up to their best before date, buy them, pickle them, and they'll last like ages in the cupboard. Obviously once they're open, you've got to eat them within a few weeks, but it's always good to have something in the cupboard, you know, for emergencies because you know, you're not always gonna have fresh eggs available. So these are a great store cupboard staple. Let's crack on with it. Quick little rundown of the ingredients and the equipment you're gonna need. But don't worry, everything will be listed in the video description below as well. So obviously we're gonna need some eggs. I've got some like nice free range ones, sort of medium sized. You're gonna want about 10. Got some vinegar as well. I'm just using like plain distilled malt vinegar. You could use like cider vinegar, white wine vinegar, but you know, I'm trying to keep it cheap and accessible. So just ordinary plain distilled vinegar is fine. Couple of bay leaves, I've got some fennel seeds, I've got some peppercorns, a bit of sugar, and obviously you're gonna want a jar, a vessel, to put your pickled eggs in. Now you don't have to have a, have a fancy mason jar like this. You know, you use old jam jars if you want, as long as they've got a nice sort of lid on it, it's gonna give a nice tight seal. So that's what we're gonna need to, to start this, but what we first need to do is make the brine and also sterilize our jar. So to sterilize my jar, I've got a nice big pan of cold water, and I'm gonna get it onto the, the highest heat, I'm gonna pop it on number six. Now there's different methods to sterilize your jars. You can do them in the oven, you can get one of those special cannon thingamajigs, all right? But I do it this way, it works for me. But you can go out there, look at other methods, do what suits you. So I've got some cold water there, I'm gonna plop my jar in there. In it goes. Don't put this into boiling water, because otherwise you'll shatter your jar. Lid and the little disc thing, in that goes as well and we're gonna bring that water to the boil. Now, next thing we need is a saucepan for our brine. Come here. Okay, now, I need to reorganize this kitchen. Right, pan, jug. We need to measure out 450 ml of vinegar. I'm gonna use up the little bits and pieces I've got lying around. Then you're gonna tip your vinegar into your pan, and also your sugar. And we're gonna turn the hob on for that. And I'm gonna put it on about five. And just kind of bring that to a gentle simmer and just kind of stir it with a spoon until everything's dissolved. So whilst the jar is sterilizing, the brine is kind of coming up to a simmer. Just wanna quickly chat about the spices. You can kind of make these pickled eggs however you like. You can mix it up as much as you want or keep it nice and simple like I'm doing. I'm gonna do some peppercorns, some fennel seeds. Now the recipe will call for coriander seeds as well, but like an idiot, I flipping run out and forgot to get some more. So I'll just leave it in the recipe because it is nice. But listen, you can kind of make this however you want. You can put some garlic in there if you want, chili, put star anise in there. There's a whole load of ways you can make this. I'll put a list on the screen of some suggestions. Just play around, just walk about. What can go wrong? Well, you just have a jar of shit eggs, won't you? Now hopefully you can see, as soon as that starts to come to a simmer, and that sugar's dissolved into that vinegar, that's it. You don't need to do anything else. And then we'll take our brine and pop it into our jug again. Try not to get it all over your, your kitchen worktop. Oh, this is potent shit. <coughs> and then to your brine mix, we're gonna chuck in a couple of bay leaves and we're going to add our spices. So I'm gonna add half a teaspoon, sorry, half a tablespoon of fennel seeds and one tablespoon of black peppercorns. Wadge that in as well. Okay, now at this stage as well, you're gonna add the coriander seeds. So just pretend like I've got some and added it in. Give it a quick swizz around. Now we need to leave this to cool, okay? That's why we've done this first before everything else because we can't use it hot. So it needs to cool down to at least room temperature before we can use it. So I'm gonna plonk that to one side, just there actually. 
um, and we just need to sterilize the jar now and then we can we can boil our eggs so the water is just starting to boil so I'm going to leave that to gently boil away for about 10 minutes okay that should be plenty to sterilize sterilize the jar again you can use the other method if you want pays your money takes your choice all right so I think our jar is sufficiently sterilized I did stick some the tip of my metal tongs in the boiling water as well because I'm going to fish them out with that and just to be extra safe I suppose I don't think you need to do that just sterilizes them a bit just tip the water out oh this is probably a really flipping stupid way of doing it ah shit that's hot steam fuck on to a surface same with the other bits in there the lid and the ring thing like I said before the brine and this jar both need to cool down completely to room temperature before we can do the rest of it and add our eggs and everything like that so leave them to cool chill out have a beer in the garden relax you've done the hard part well actually you know the hard part's peeling the eggs in it because that's a flipping faff in it in itself we'll see in a bit and i'm going to reuse the water that i sterilized my jar in because i thought there's no point in wasting it so i'm going to bring this back up to a boil right okay so the water is now boiling for our eggs we need to lower the eggs in you want to do this quite carefully so you you don't crack or bust the eggs up. So I've got like a spider here. I'm just going to put three or four in at a time. And then just gently lower them in. Now you're going to want to set a timer for nine minutes exactly. So, hey Google, set timer for nine minutes. Sure, nine minutes. And we're starting now. Well, thank you very much. Okay, let's go. Right, so our nine minutes is up. I've got like a... A bowl here I'm just going to carefully decant these eggs into that so, so and then take it over to the sink and just run over the cold tap just let it run for like a couple of minutes okay what this does is it stops the cooking process immediately so you're not gonna have overcooked eggs and it also means that you won't get that horrible gray flipping sulfurous ring that you get on a shitty boiled egg now comes the fun part or not so fun part for me Peeling the eggs. Now I'm sure you know how to do this. It's not rocket science, is it? But what I like to do is just tap it on the surface all the way around so every part of the egg is cracked. And then just find a section. And you'll notice that the egg has like a bit of a membrane underneath the shell. You want, you want to kind of take that off because it just sort of helps peel it better, I think. You don't want like floaty membrane in your pickled eggs, do you? But there you go, one peeled hard boiled egg. Now just do the rest. So once you've peeled all your eggs, all you need to do is just pop them in the jar, our sterilised jar. You don't want to go all the way to the top. You want to be, you want to leave a little bit of space. Okay, because we want the, the brine to completely cover the eggs. Then we take our cooled brine mixture and just pour it straight in. If you're using like multiple, multiple jars, obviously you're going to have to divide the mixture up. Then whack your lid on. Okay, screw it nice and tightly. And then I like to just kind of give it a little bit of a shake so everything kind of moves around. Give it a bit of a shufty. Then all you want to do then is stick a label on it. Make sure you put the day that you made it on it. So today's the 18th, so I'm going to put that date. So you know when they're going to be ready in the future. You want to stick them in a nice dark cupboard away from direct sunlight. And you want them to sit in there for about two weeks. Two weeks minimum. Three weeks is better because you're going to get a much more pronounced flavour. And then your pickled eggs are ready to eat. Once you've opened the jar though, make sure you keep them in the fridge and they'll last you like well, about two weeks or so in the fridge if they last that long at all because they're bloody delicious. But the most important thing is what do they look like inside and what do they taste like? So this is the last one of my last batch which I very unwillingly saved for this video. So let's have a look. Now you notice the egg has got a slight brownish tint to it. Don't worry, that's normal. That's just part of the brining process. You, not, you can see in the brine, it's got like a colour to it. So that's all that is. But let's just cut it open and see what's inside. As you can see, look, the nice sort of set yellow yolk there. And no horrible shitty grey ring on the outside. Perfect, nice pickled egg. And most importantly, what do they taste like? Imagine like a boiled egg that's got like a pickled flavour. <laughs> that's basically it. But it all depends on what you put in your brine can really taste the fennel in this. The white has got like a bit of resistance to it, a bit of bounce. And in terms of eating them, well, you can raw dog them like this. You can make a nice egg salad out of it, egg mayo sandwich filling, really works in that. You could probably make a scotch egg with these as well. I don't know, 
not tried it, but I imagine it'd be nice. If you're having like um, what we call in the UK picky bits, you've got some ham, you've got some salad, a bit of cheese, whatever, pork pie, stick some of these on. Gonna be flipping belting. What I like to do, it's a bit of a snack. <laughs> you take you take some salt and vinegar, not salt and vinegar, ready salted crisps. Just take, oh shit, try not to throw them on the floor. Get a nice one like that. Slice a little bit off, pop it on your crisp. You got like a little, little snack. Magic. Don't waste this either. Once you've eaten them, you've got a lot of this sort of brine left over. Um, I'm not going to use it to re-pickle re anything. What I am going to do is I've got some chicken thighs. They've gone out of the freezer. I'm going to put them in this and sort of brine them in that in that flavoured brine. I'm going to add some garlic in there. I might add some chilli. It's going to make this chicken super tasty. So you don't need to just chuck it away. But there we have it. That's how to do pickled eggs. Super simple, nice and cheap. Nice little store cupboard ingredients have knocking around. And they taste bloody marvellous. Anyway, I'll see your gorgeous faces next time. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Share this video to your friends and family as well. Love you to bits. See you next time. Bye for now. Thank you.